Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today let me show you Star Wars Jedi Survivor on the Steam Deck Steam OS with the DLSS Enabler mod. So I've already got the game booted up because the intro is really, really long and you can't skip it. Okay, um, and let me show you my settings. I'm using the latest update as of recording, which is patch 9, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, I tested out the AMD FSR 2.2, the built-in one. I tried ultra performance mode. The graphics doesn't look too good, but I was getting like 30-ish, 40 FPS most of the time. Um, and like the built-in AMD FSR doesn't support frame generation, but this game does support NVIDIA DLSS 3 upscaling and it has frame generation for NVIDIA and I kind of know why. I know why they use the NVIDIA one and AMD, it doesn't have the frame generation. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Okay, so I've got the mod installed. That's why I'm going to disable the built-in AMD FSR and then I can toggle on DLSS 3, which isn't really DLSS 3 because I'm using the Steam Deck. I don't have an NVIDIA 4000 series connected. Um, so this is just the mod. It translates it to FSR 3.1 and I can also toggle on frame generation. And then if you take a look at my quality preset, uh, basically everything's on low. And then uh, motion blur, I turned it off, film grain off, chromatic aberration also off. So now let's start the game. Okay, so I was saying why they don't have AMD with frame generation, the FSR. It's because this game, all the cutscenes, it's in somatic mode. And AMD, like frame generation, doesn't work in somatic mode. I learned about this uh, when I was trying this mod out for... Hellblade 2 because Hellblade 2 the whole game is in somatic mode and you can turn that off uh, you have to go into settings and uh, like edit the, the settings file and turn that off I'm not sure if you can turn Jedi Survivor the cutscenes the somatic I think you can I don't know how to do that if you know how to do that let me know so you can see this is somatic mode you can see the black bars at the top and bottom and like it does have the UI flickering if we have subtitles it'll be flickering and it does like have a little bit of ghosting so that's why they didn't implement the AMD FSR frame generation. You can see here, see that ghost thing and all that. Yeah, that's the reason why they don't have that. But if you're playing on the Steam Deck, it kind of sucks, right? So that's why this mod helps. And you can see, like, like it does look really bad. Ultra performance mode, right? Like, it's worse uh, because I'm using a capture card and it's blown up. But uh, it doesn't even look good on the Steam Deck um, screen. So, I would recommend at least using performance or balance. So, I'm going to show you performance. Okay, so performance does look a lot better. Like you can see it does look a lot better. It, it, like it doesn't look too good now because, you know, you're watching this on probably 1080p. Okay, uh, but on the Steam Deck screen, it's not that bad. Like it's very playable. And you can see we're getting like 60-ish frames, which is a big performance boost like compared to the built-in AMD FSR without frame generation you're only getting like 30 ish 40 but now we've got um, AMD FSR 3.1 and it's you know got frame generation that's why we got the performance boost um, and there's no flickering or ghosting in game because it's not somatic mode but in the cutscenes, uh, you gotta have flickering on the UI, like the, the subtitles and all that. You might like, you might want to turn off subtitles, uh, or I think a better way is uh, just turn off the frame generation when you're in the cutscenes. You can do that. So let me show you. I like. I don't really find a big difference in like quality, graphic quality. Fidelity uh, between balanced and performance. So I'm gonna probably play this game um, in performance most of the time. But let me show you. Oops. Visuals. So balanced. Not according to the propaganda. I don't think it looks that much different get a little hit you may be like getting like five to ten fps drop so this is balanced 
So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, it really helps out. We talk a lot about gaming handouts, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. Talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So if that's your thing, make sure you subscribe. So this game totally playable, like on the Steam Deck. I think we're going to a cutscene soon. I want to show you guys the cutscene. The rest of you will stay here. That wasn't the deal. Deals change. Not this one. I come along or we walk. Only you. The others must wait. Terrorist. You gonna let him call you that? That's enough. So where'd you find him? Oh, there's a big drop there. He's trying to buy a crate of electro proton bombs from a Chagrin arms dealer. How'd you make the arrest? Should I have to sleep? Save us. But this game wasn't like a really good PC port. You'll wish you were dead. Always nice to meet a fan. Okay, so here's the cutscene, and you can see it's semantic mode with the bars, and you can see like has a lot of ghosting, flickering, and you can see the subtitles. Okay, you can actually go into here and turn it off if you want. Like you can see, if I turn off frame generation, it better be like that f These just fixes it. Sniffing about. Well, there's nothing to fix. Jedi like it's just if you don't have frame generation, you don't have that issue. What else have you brought me? Okay. You'll burn for this. That's mine. Stop the Jedi! <laughs> okay, let's turn on frame generation again. Okay, so I think you've seen enough. It's a free mod, so definitely try this out. I'll show you how it's installed and I'll take you back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. See you there. Before we get into that, I want to give a shout out to Play Vital. Play Vital is a gaming accessories company and this isn't a sponsored video, but they did reach out to me and they sent me some gaming accessories for the Steam Deck. Okay, so they do have accessories for the major consoles and Steam Deck, ROG Ally, not the Legion Go at the moment. Uh, I would have liked that. But anyway, so they sent me like the Steam Deck accessories, but they didn't give me everything. I would have liked like one of each to test it out. But anyway, they gave me the back button enhancements. Okay, so these are just back button uh, enhancements. Like they, you just stick them on like... I wasn't really impressed with this, but uh, you know, if you need enhancements for your back buttons, okay, they gave me also trigger extenders, okay, pretty much the same thing, uh, but you stick them onto your triggers, 
Okay, I didn't really need that. Uh, they gave me the thumb grips, the basic ones. I would have probably liked some of these cute ones or these devilish ones, all right? Uh, I got those. Uh, I would have liked a protective case and some skin decal. Uh, but I'm not really good at sticking these. So yeah, I'm not really sure. But yeah, they didn't give me these to try out, unfortunately. Um, and then they also gave me a dust cover which is neat, okay? So uh, when you have it docked, you can put the dust cover on. That's cool too. Uh, and then I also got um, a USB-C to C cable, uh, which is braided and everything. That, that was pretty cool too. And they also are giving away three gift cards for $20. So I'll just put them in the description below. And I think it's a first come first serve. So if you wanna buy something from them and use the gift card, uh, feel free. And yeah. Thank you for um, giving me those accessories. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is to locate your game folder. Okay, I've got my game folder right here. It's in games, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And inside the game folder, you've got a folder called SW Game. And then binaries, Win64. Okay, and here's where we're going to put our mod files. So take note of that. And then the second thing you need to do is download the mod. Okay, so I'll link this in the description. So we're going to DLSS enable a GitHub page. Okay, and then you go to releases. And normally you just get the latest version. Um, this is the like stable build. I'm getting the like pre-releases. So I'm gonna be using the 3.02.000.0 beta 5, okay? So this came out three days ago. I'm using this one. So depending where you're watching this, uh, you might be using a later version. Okay, that's up to you. Um, and then just go here, assets, and download the exe, okay? So I've already got it downloaded right here in my downloads folder, okay? This is the beta exe. So like there's a few ways people told me you can do it. Like you can use the Wine Windows Program Loader if you installed Wine. If you haven't, uh, and this is easier way. But uh, like another way is just to add it to Steam. So right click, add to Steam. It's this is a little bit more complicated, but it does the job. Once you add it to Steam, go open up your Steam library, and then on the left hand side you should have this DLSS the enabler setup. Okay, and I'm going to go to properties and then I'm just going to force it to Proton Experimental. Okay, and then click play. Just does the job. And then you should get this installer pop up. This one, and then click I accept. Next, next, and you need to select the folder. So what I like to do is in the downloads folder, I'm just going to like, create a new folder. So maybe I'll just copy this, copy this name. Okay. And then just create a new folder. And then I'm just going to paste the name. So I created a folder. I'm going to use this folder. So browse, then uh, downloads folder is in my internal SSD. So it's the Z drive, home, back. Okay. And then downloads right here. Here's the folder that I just created, the blank folder. All right. So make sure, oops, okay, it's still there. So make sure that's correct. And then we're gonna select the install as version.dll, okay? And then enable this AMD Intel GPU. Don't use it for Nvidia, okay? Because we're using the Steam Deck. That's why we're gonna click this. And then next, next. And you can see the files populating. Okay, and then it should try to do this uh, register file uh, on Windows. Uh, you don't need that on like Steam Deck. So just, we don't need to read the readme, finish, and you've got all these files, okay? So what you need to do is just copy all these files, copy and paste it onto your game directory, the SW game binaries win64 folder. Okay, I already have it, so I'm just gonna, oops. That's the wrong button. Right click, paste 20 items, apply to all. I'm gonna overwrite because I already have it. Okay, and then we also need to overwrite this 
nvngx.dll file. Okay, this is the like the one that comes with the mod. It's 185.8 kilobytes. We don't need this, so just move it to trash. Okay, now go back to your game folder, St Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Go to Engine, and then Plugins, Runtime, NVIDIA, DLSS, Binaries, Third Party, Win64. Okay, this file, nvngx underscore dlss dot dll, we need it. So just copy it. Copy it, go back to your game folder. So Star Wars Jedi Survivor, SW Game. Binaries, Win64. Okay, and then we're going to paste it here. And we're going to rename it. Okay, we want to replace that file that we deleted. So just re just remove the underscore DLSS. And now the file that was 185.5 kilobytes is now 33.8 megabytes. That's what we want. And then that's done. Go back. You can like... Delete this if you want. You don't need it anymore. So remove non-Steam game from your library. Okay, go back to your game on your Steam library. Go to the gear icon, properties, and then compatibility. Oh no, sorry. Shortcut here. Make sure you add the launch options. Wine DLL overrides equals quotation mark. Version equals N comma B quotation mark. And then space percentage command percentage. I'll like put this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. And once that's done, let's test it out. Let's test it out. So if it works in desktop mode, it's gotta work in gaming mode. So just make sure that you can toggle the DLSS. Okay, if you can't toggle on the DLSS and you can't toggle on the frame generation, that means you didn't install the mod correctly you might want to do the whole process again so this is the intro that i was telling you about you can't skip it and it's really long but you can actually skip it i, I know like i've tried um removing the mp4 files in the game folder but like that just brings a black screen. But like the time, I think it's almost the same. I think it's reserved the time to play this. So, okay. We're almost there. Almost there. Okay, so options and then visuals. Okay, so make sure here you can toggle this. If you can't toggle this, then it's not working for you. Okay, and frame gen on and off, you can toggle it. That's good. All right, so that's how you do it, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. I'll try my best to help out. Um, and also, if you don't have issues, make sure you leave a nice comment. We can engage in a little conversation. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.